Jenny sobbed and tried not to let her husband leave. Ben irritably pushed his crying wife away from him and indifferently looked at his three-year-old son, who was frightened and looked out of the room clutching a teddy bear. This miserable apartment with torn wallpaper, a constantly leaking faucet, a wife with problems and a sickly son, the man was fed up with it all and decided without regret to start a new life. Ben told the woman not to cry and then left slamming the door loudly. Jenny sat on the floor helplessly sobbing. After her husband left, her whole world collapsed. She came to this city to work as a teacher of foreign languages. She had barely begun working there when she met Ben. He seemed to her reliable and strong. And after a while she unexpectedly got pregnant. Ben did not leave her, but he did not ask her to marry him, although they lived in a rented apartment as husband and wife. At the beginning Ben was a model family man. He worked hard and tried to provide for his family. When Nikki was born and it turned out that he had health problems, Ben became more and more burdensome with family obligations. To relax and distract himself he had an affair with a colleague. And at the end he left Jenny and his sick son. After her husband betrayed her, Jenny allowed herself to grieve for a few days and then began to live from scratch. The woman knew that no one would take care of her son except her, and that is why she could not afford to be depressed. She had a difficult financial situation. Over the years of marriage she had not made any financial savings and there was barely enough money for food. When Nikki was two years old, Jenny started taking part-time jobs. She translated texts, wrote stories for hire, composed slogans for advertising. Little by little Jenny began to gain regular clients but the woman had to work a lot on her old laptop at night. One evening Jenny was sitting at the computer and was doing the order. Her son was playing with cars in the hallway. Suddenly the bell rang. Jenny thought hopefully that it was Ben. The woman quickly ran to open the door, but the landlady was standing on the threshold. It turned out that Ben, who had promised to pay the rent, had lied and had not paid it for three months. Jenny was horrified, she did not have such a huge sum and she had nowhere to go. With tears in her eyes she said that Ben had abandoned her and her son and she could not pay such a sum at once. Fortunately, the landlady was a kind woman who had seen a lot of grief in her life and who had also been raising her son alone for a long time. She knew how hard it was, so she gave Jenny a one-month reprieve. After putting her son to bed, Jenny typed the ordered texts with double energy and even with a kind of frenzy. By morning, the orders were ready and the woman turned them in for checking. And then fortune suddenly turned to Jenny and new orders came flooding in. She was typing texts, at the same time playing with her son, and during the breaks she was cooking and cleaning. And exactly on time the required sum was on the account, and Jenny lightheartedly transferred the money to the landlady. And soon Jenny's life changed completely. And that's how it happened. One morning a woman and her son were walking to the grocery store. The road went through a park. Suddenly they noticed an elderly woman lying on the ground near one of the benches. A bag and documents were lying next to her. Jenny came closer, knelt down. She shook the old woman by the shoulder and when she did not react, she touched her pulse. It was very weak. Without a second's hesitation, the woman called an ambulance. While the ambulance was going, Jenny gathered up her scattered belongings. Among them was a passport. The woman's name was Helen and she lived nearby. The ambulance arrived very quickly, within five minutes, and the doctor stated a massive heart attack. Jenny barely had time to ask what hospital to take her grandmother as the ambulance had already left. The next day Jenny came to the hospital and was allowed to check on the woman for five minutes. She was conscious, only weak and lying under an IV infusion. Jenny introduced herself and the woman thanked her for saving her life. Jenny smiled and said that anyone would have done the same in her position. It turned out that the woman was on her way to the store to buy food for her cat when the attack occurred. The old lady looked at Jenny attentively and asked her one more favor. There was no one to look after and feed the cat. Jenny had a kind heart and agreed to help. The old lady told Jenny to take the keys from the nightstand and the purse with the money for food, and then told her what to feed him. Jenny was certainly surprised by the trust of this old woman, but Helen immediately recognized that Jenny was a decent woman. After the hospital Jenny immediately went to get the food and then to the woman's house. The apartment amazed the young woman with its size and rich furnishings. The huge cat took the guest unfriendly at first. 
But when he saw the food his heart softened. All the time while the owner was in the hospital the cat was waiting impatiently for Jenny and Nikki. They fed the cat, cleaned cat's toilet, and then went to the hospital to visit the old lady. A month later the old woman was discharged from the hospital. Jenny and Nikki met the woman at the exit and she invited them to her place for tea. Helen was very grateful that Jenny not only saved her, but also took care of the cat and visited her in the hospital. The old woman knew already what life circumstances fell to Jenny's lot and thought a lot about that situation. In the end she decided to offer Jenny to stay with her. Jenny had her doubts, but in her heart she was happy about such a coincidence. That's how they lived. Jenny took care of the household, worked from home, and the old lady looked after Nikki. She felt like a daughter's care and became almost like a mother to Jenny. One evening they broke the faucet in the bathroom. They called a plumber and after an hour a man who introduced himself as Douglas quickly fixed the tap. Jenny noted to herself that he was good looking and had good manners. After he left, the old woman looked at Jenny and said, what a good man he is, and it's time for Jenny to arrange her personal life. Jenny blushed and waved her off. And the next day she bumped into him by chance in a store. It turned out that he lived in the neighborhood. Somehow one word led to a conversation between them then to friendship, and then to a love affair, which ended in marriage. The old woman could no longer imagine life without Jenny and Nikki, and that's why Douglas moved in with them. Five years lasted this carefree happiness. Douglas was making good money, Jenny had signed long-term contracts with the publishing house. Nikki was already in school, and the old lady was happy to have a full-fledged family, a daughter, a son and a grandson. The trouble came unexpectedly. One morning the old woman got out of bed and dropped dead. Jenny immediately ran up, but could do nothing to help. And then doctor said that after that first heart attack it was a miracle that she lived so many years. Apparently good care and positive emotions prolonged her life. After the funeral the old lady's niece Melanie came to the house and demanded to leave the apartment, because she was the rightful heiress. Douglas grinned sadly, because this so-called heiress did not even come to the funeral. Then they packed their things and left the apartment. Six months later, Jenny received a letter from the notary. It was Helen's will. The woman bequeathed all her property to Jenny. In the note addressed to Jenny, the old lady thanked her for her happy last years and asked her to kiss Nikki and Douglas for her, and not to forget about her cat. The niece was furious when she found out about the will. The couple had to call the police, as Melanie did not want to voluntarily leave Helen's apartment. Soon Jenny with Nikki and Douglas and the cat returned to the apartment and often remembered the good old lady. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We really need your support. Have a great day and see you again.